Hi, I'm Chris Allen. Uh, I'm the CEO of Infrared 5. Uh, we're a company that specializes in doing really cool stuff for uh, the web uh, using uh, both Flash and also Unity 3D. As well. We also do a lot of uh, mobile development uh, you, you know, with Android and iPhone. Um, we work with a variety of clients uh, all the way from very large companies like Adobe and NBC Universal, all the way down to smaller startups, which you probably haven't heard of yet. Uh, but hopefully will in the near future. Um, we're also well known for our work on open source uh, projects uh, such as uh, Paper Vision 3D and Red 5. Uh, but alas, I'm not really here to talk to you guys about uh, our, our open source work or even our clients. Uh, I'm actually here to talk about platforms and you know more, more specifically you know how platforms actually relate to the web. And you know as people uh, I probably have noticed that um, you know surfing the internet and like the whole internet experience has changed quite a bit, um, and you know now you have multiple platforms you can experience it on. You have you know one of those uh, big things which is actually becoming quite prominent is the ability to you know experience it on a mobile phone, uh, and you know of course mobile phones allow a lot of different things and everything from you know mobile gaming as well you know and and that's a huge piece of it. And, you know, one of these devices, which I think has really changed, uh, you know, it's been the game changer in all of this is uh, the iPhone. And, uh, you know, our company, Infrared 5, we were very lucky to work with uh, a wonderful brand known as Star Wars. Uh, and through that, we actually created an iPhone game. And uh, this iPhone game has been successful and it's, a, it's been in the App Store since uh, November 2009. Um, but with that, you know, because we used a Unity 3D as the game engine for this, we were actually able to quickly create a web version. Um, and, you know, through this web uh, version, we actually have this on StarWars.com. However, you know, what, what, we, did, what we found is, like, uh, the iPhone version, uh, you know, it, it had a lot of limitations. And one of those is the size of the screen here. I mean, you can tell it's pretty small. And, and trying to play through a game... Like this, you know, it's great because you have these awesome controls, but you have a really small real estate. And then vice versa, when you're playing the game on the web, you know, you have to be stuck with mouse and keyboard to actually control it. So uh, what we really wanted is, is, is a different kind of experience. So we, we started thinking a little bit out of the box on this and uh, came up with this new thing. And, and this new thing is called Brass Monkey. Uh, Brass Monkey is a, is a new SDK that allows you to actually connect a device like this um, to uh, something running in your web browser. And uh, let me just show you a quick demo of this working. Uh, first one we're going to show is the Star Wars Trench Run here. Uh, as you can see, I have it open in my iPhone. Let me just uh, start that right back up. And... Um, go and all right here we go so if I click on this uh, you can see that um, this is the actual same game on the iPhone uh, and I could play all the levels from here uh, but this is a little bit more interesting if I actually connect the device you'll see that this guy turns into a game controller so look at that all right and now I'm actually able to play this game using this so Let's uh, run to the cannon section. Actually, let's make it a little harder on me. I'll play the escape level. Alright, so if I pause and get this guy in full screen, this looks really cool. And resume, and then I'm actually able to shoot TIE fighters. There you go. And the controls are amazing. You have this awesome screen real estate. And you basically have almost like a kind of a console type experience, you know, like a, almost like the Wii. So this is this is really really great, um, and uh, I, I think that, you know we're opening up a lot of possibilities for other developers to be able to create experiences like this uh, using the Brass Monkey SDK. So um, let me uh, show you quickly uh, another game that we are actually doing this with, and this is actually using the Unity. Uh, demo that ships with a Unity 3D. And you see this is a car demo. And I 
if I fire up the racing game control to detect my device, there's my phone. Connect to it. This guy turns into a kind of a steering wheel, and you'll see it if I. There you go. So the cool thing about this is we actually were able to um, insert the controls in about. Oh, <laughs> yeah, watch out. Um, I was actually able to do the con put the controls into this game in about an hour, and uh, yeah, it opens up a lot of possibilities. For so these are two control kind of games, and uh, let me just quit that out, and let's go back to the slides. So with that, I want to talk about a couple of other uh, you know scenarios that which really aren't game related because it, you know. Brass Monkey is really great for creating control for games, like I was just showing you there. Uh, but in a lot of respects, uh, it's also got other possibilities. And one of them, you know, is uh, how about a dance club where you actually have uh, lights uh, in the club where you actually can control that uh, through um, through your mobile phone. So maybe people are, you know, waving around like this and uh, it, while they're dancing, and you can see the different lights actually uh, kind of moving back and forth. Also, classroom settings. Imagine a professor being able to show his uh, uh, show the work of different students from uh, around the room. And in this case, you know, maybe it's uh, they're using laptops uh, to uh, actually share data uh, over the local Wi-Fi, and then you can see the real-time results of these. Also, uh, I think it's a huge opportunity for advertisers uh, to put their uh, kind of interactive experiences on uh, electronic billboards. Uh, you know, and then you know, maybe can, people can walk by with their smartphones and be able to interact with it. Maybe take a picture using the camera on the device, and um, you know, have that show up immediately on the billboard. Uh, there are tons of possibilities with that. We also see it uh, being used quite a bit in the medical industry. Uh, you know, maybe uh, a doctor. Uh, you know, you go to visit the doctor, and he pulls out his tablet and he gets his med gets your medical records up on uh, on the device, and and then he. Maybe he says, oh, well, it looks like your MRI results are in. So uh, here, let's, let's see what we got here. And then he hits a button, and all of a sudden, the, uh, the results are on the main screen. Uh, there maybe it's an LCD screen in the, in the doctor's office. And he's actually able to say, oh, well, you see here, oh, that's, that's probably not so good. Uh, but you get the point. I mean, it's, that's kind of like a syncing type app where it's uh, kind of a one-to-one -one with the screen. And... Uh, you know, maybe he can actually take that information, bring it down the hallway, and then you know, also show it to another doctor uh, to get his uh, uh, or, or her actual input on what is going on. I would encourage everybody to kind of think about other uh, use cases for it. I, pretty much every time I talk about Brass Monkey, uh, somebody comes up with something else uh, which is related to their field. And you know, I, th I think you know, one of the most exciting things for us and why we're releasing this SDK is because we really want to see what other people do uh, with the product. So with that, um, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, you know, this is my contact information. Um, and uh, thank you very much.